So this is a generator here, a Generac uh, 5500XL that I did for a client. And uh, so what I had, it, uh, it was sitting around and had a fuel stabilizer in it that was super sticky and dark. And uh, even in the ultrasonic, for like an hour and a half, it wouldn't dissolve the stuff in the carburetor. So I ended up putting on a new carburetor and then uh, ended up putting on a new carburetor aftermarket and uh, I had to tweak it to get it to idle. I had issues with it. It didn't want to idle properly. And uh, so I got that figured out. And then this, this breather tube, the end of it was broken where it sticks onto the flange of the air filter base. So I epoxied it because it's a $25 piece. And uh, I just let uh, epoxy run around the end of it and just uh, turned it slowly as it dried. It was five minute epoxy. So I just slowly turned it as it dried. And it did a super nice job. Saved some, saved some ching. And then um, I noticed it didn't have a, uh, up here, the grommet on the bottom was leaking. So I put a new grommet in the tank and uh, stopped the leaking because it was all cracked. I guess from sitting around at age. And then I put another filter in here because I was getting uh, particles coming past the tank filter. And then I got all the junk out of it uh, before I reattached it to the new carburetor. And uh, it runs really nice. Everything looks good now. Um, there's a new air filter in here. Uh, so basically a normal kind of stuff that happens with bad gas and in this case they had fuel stabilizer that really messed up the carburetor and I used to use that uh, Blue Streak used to sell that fuel stabilizer and I used to use it but I don't anymore uh, I find it's way better to not have gas and stuff forget all the fuel stabilizers most of them don't work anyway and then we did an oil change on it so this was just standard fare uh, I think this has been sitting for several years, and then he just he just got it, and uh, wanted me to make it run for him, for backup power, and uh, yeah, this would be a nice generator for farm and around farm use. Fifty five hundred watts, and this is the good stuff from Generac. The XL is the extended life. Um, their normal generators don't have oil filters like this, and th this has some really nice long life features. So this was kind of one of the normal ones I've done. Uh, and, then, and we just had a video on that orange Generac, the 8,000 watt one that I did, that had the frame all crooked. Um, so you can watch that too. So that's that. That's all I got for this one.